Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the part two of our Angular team live coding. Um, today we will continue working on the leaderboard of nonsense. Um, it's a project that we started. It's a project that we started in the last live stream. Uh, we will be building a leaderboard for B2V, B2V teams and we can see the scores of everyone on each game. We'll be using Angular and Firebase. Um, I'm Elias, I have here with me Fabio and Duani. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Hello. Um, Hello camera. <laughs> Okay, so the goals for today are uh, we will try we will see our first PR from Mark. Uh, he proposed adding a Husky to the project, and then we will try to install Firebase with Angular. And if we have time, we will also once install the window, Windows ninety five team. So let's get started. Do you guys have something to add? I want to thank Mark for the contribution. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Okay. Can you see my screen? Let me just print the GitHub pull request. Okay, so this is the pull request. What's the process for you guys to review a PR? Do you check out the the branch and then pull the code, or you use the yeah. online tool? I think uh, since Mark is outside of our project, we probably should verify he's done everything correctly and everything's working. We don't want to trust Mark, <laughs> so um, let's check out his branch and see if we can run it, install it, and and make sure everything's working. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm going to do here a fetch first. Uh, I think I have the branch. Yeah, I have it. Okay. Let's check out to Mark's branch and see. Uh, to see the changes, I guess you can do them with the the GitHub extension or GitHub pull request extension. Um, we have here um, what's this? A file? It's under files. Let's see. We have a folder Husky. We have a Husky is H. And yeah, so uh, his PR is adding uh, a lint pre commit hook. So anytime we commit something, uh, it would lint for us. And I think it also fixes, automatically tries to fix any issue. Um, any auto fixable problems, so we should try to maybe um, make a mistake and try to commit it to see if that process is working. Yeah, I see that uh, installed some dependencies here, so probably we'll need to do an npm install. Yeah. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, I think we should create a dip, um, second branch um, from his branch. Uh, why? So why we don't. That? So we don't commit changes and, and push anything to his branch, unless you you're completely sure you're not going to push anything to remote. I believe you will not. Okay. 
Okay, so we installed dependencies. Does anyone know um, a problem we could insert into the code that is fixable by um, Husky uh, commit hook? I think I think Marcus um, knows one issue we could insert into our code. Do you know any auto fixable um, plain errors? Um, I don't know, probably unused imports, no? Yeah, so he suggested adding a class member um, that is a who property of type string, and then um, it has a cow string. Uh, and the auto fixable issue is that we don't need to. Um, the uh, lint issue is that we don't need to specify the type if that's a string, number, or boolean type. Okay. So yeah, just going into a specific class and then whatever class, um, and then adding a property of type string and then defining that uh, property properties value to, yeah, just adding a type string to the title should work. Uh, and then save it and then try to commit the change. And then the change would be um, the the linting, linting process, the Husky process would try to autofix, lint and autofix this issue. The uh, Husky? It's like this, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Did you install? Yeah. Okay. Open Git log. Command not found. Mm hmm. Is this maybe? install hmm. is this because that we don't have an X uh, or is NPX an old thing I think let's run this manually NPM yeah I, I, I always confuse NPX and an X it's another thing uh, so this is Probably an issue with um, the live share. Again? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Because this is a node thing. Um, do you want to stop live share and then try it? Okay. I think you're going to have to close the uh, terminal and open the one. Why? Uh, because I think that would restart whatever issue you have with the terminal, not having access to NPX. That's sweet. So, um, Mark is suggesting uh, we should be able to use npx p to test the npx version. I'm gonna try to commit from the command okay. line. I think I think it should work now. Did you add the file? Yeah, it's added. It's on the stage it changes. Uh, weird. Oh, that's because um, 
once the fix was done, there were no changes. So let's add a second property uh, with the um, string and string type of uh, of with a value of a string. So let's just yeah, just create a new property. Okay, so I should add this change. Yeah. And then we will try to commit from the terminal because this UI has some problems, I guess. Okay, okay so, so it now did. it should be able. Mm -hmm. It should fix the problem and then remove the types. Yeah, that's cool. Um, we okay. now need to merge the pull request. Now the yeah, I think if we can go uh, and approve the pull request and merge it to our main branch. Okay, should I merge? Yeah. It's question merge. Now let's get back to our main and we should be able to pull the changes. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Anonymous Contributor. Uh, sorry? I said thank you, Anonymous Contributor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's serve. Yeah, Mark said I'm surprised that it doesn't work with VS Code source control stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Probably this is hooked to some something. I don't know. Okay. Um, so now we need to install Firebase. I should probably give you the link. Uh, the Firebase repository? Yeah, the link I... for the live share. Oh, okay. It's on Gear Fire, right? But I suggest that before you install it in the project, you create the project on Firebase. I send the link in the chat. Oh, okay. Let's do this live. Is a new project. Yep. Let's name it uh, leaderboard. Should it be attached. Oh, it's fine. Uh, I confirm that. I will use one ways excessively for purposes rating on my trade business. Okay. <laughs> Probably I should just follow the blue button. Live share, we have a question, something. Uh, live share allows contributors to request access to open terminal just in case they become Helpful. I think the other person just has to try typing in an open terminal and request access. Yeah, we can do that. I think we tried it last um, live stream. No, uh, you can give read only rights and also the right. 
permissions and you can also give the server so uh, so you can listen to the server from your local of the one that you are that has been sharing with you the uh, the face code Can you All do that system to do a live share heard it makes your computer much faster? <laughs> yeah. We tried it, but uh, uh, we use Mac. So Mac. I think Mac doesn't have that folder, yeah. does it? No, it does not. Now the next step is logging in Firebase in your terminal so that you have a project. Okay, how can I do that? You're gonna run Firebase space login. But uh, I don't have Firebase installed. Should I install it? Mm, I think you should actually. Try running the command first. Let's see what I heard we get. It's Firebase. Yeah. It's not found. Okay, so. Firebase. I think. Firebase CLI. Firebase tools. You can also install it's Firebase tools apparently. Yeah, it's deprecated. Okay, so Firebase CLI is deprecated. What mm -hmm. you need to install this Firebase tools. Um, should I install it globally or just on this project? It's just I think globally. It. Globally, yes. Okay. Yeah, need to give him the f permissions. Um, global. You see, you don't have to do this on Windows. <laughs> oh, I thought the password would appear. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to mess with me? <laughs> <laughs> And what's the next step? Um, After the installation next... completes, mm -hmm. you're gonna run Firebase space login. Uh, then two points. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the... to collect the uh, users. Okay, you can collect them. Uh, you gotta log in CI before. <laughs> I'll send the command in the chat. Uh, should log into what? Should the uh, CI first. Gotta paste this command first. Okay, we can ignore this. What's the difference? Login. Mm, no, not sure. From login and login CI? Yeah, let's see the docs. I don't know. I don't know anything about Firebase. CI generates authentication token for use in non-interactive environment. Authenticate to your Firebase account requires access to a browser. Do, do we really need to log into Firebase command line? Or do we just need uh, to configure access to the front end uh, to access the Firebase backend? Well, let's try just like in the. Uh, from uh, from what I know, you can just configure it from the front end and give it the the link or something for the Firestore. Um, like, are you gonna configure some token or something yeah. like that? Well, let's do it like this and see. Okay. 
So you're gonna run the CI command? I did. Log in CI. And, and now it's the login command. Firebase login. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, Firebase login. Is it... Oh, I... I mean, is, is it changing any anything in Angular at this point? Running it's going to CI? create a file for you. Okay. Which file? Is, is, can, can you take a look at the changes, Elias? Uh, nothing. I'm curious to what it's doing. We have one change, don't Where we? Where is it? No. No changes? Yeah. Well, try to complete the login process. Open uh, the... I did. Opened on the browser. They prompt me to log in with my Gmail account. Okay. And I did. Uh, then let's try the next step, I suppose. It's installing yeah. the lib. I think login will not add anything. Probably the installation. Uh, this lib on Bilar Fire. Mm -hmm. oh, we have you can, thing. yeah. While it's installing, uh, it's prompting me to do it. So, uh, select what feature uh, you and like you to apply. Set up. You can just go for default. We're going to deploy the app right? eventually. What feature would you like to set up? Um, let's add Firebase. Firestore. Firestore. Sorry. I think. Yep. Uh, deploy I think. Firestore authentication. We will need authentication. I think we will, yeah. Okay. I think that's um good. authentication, firestore, uh deploy would be nice if we can uh, deploy okay. those two. No real time database. I, I don't think that's. Which Firebase account would you like? Yeah. Yeah, it's prompting me to select the project that I just created, mm -hmm. which is nice. Mm -hmm. That's why you need that first step. Yeah, to log in so it knows. Uh, please select the hosting site. It's... Can select the the one that gave to you. I think. Sorry? Uh, you can select the one they give to you, yeah. And now we need to create an app. So, can you please go back to Firebase? Okay. You're creating an app inside the project? Is that it? In Firebase? Yeah, actually, go to the console and create a new app on the terminal. Go to the terminal, sorry. Um, is this project is not the app, no? But the... we need to configure it on Firebase to create a new app. Okay. So this this create new app is creating an application in Firebase. Is that it? Or is mm -hmm. it referring to the local application, Angular application we have? Well, I am not exactly sure, as it's also my first time using Firebase, but I believe it's an app for Firebase, yes. Okay. 
Let's see if, it, if they are mentioning something on the documentation. Okay, uh, were you able to select the app? Uh, your terminal says, please select an app, leaderboard of nonsense, and then no results. Oh, I think this has to do with the fact that we selected other options. The first one, oh. hosting, so... Okay, so you can select create new app. Wait, why well, it's not using my... I can't get out from this. Probably we should do it again. Should we yeah. remove this? Uh, no, let's try to go to Firebase. Let's do the command again. Oh no. Can you go to Fairbank? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you create on the hamburger menu, please? Mm -hmm. Select again. Um, now, project settings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, go scroll down, please. Enter that. Uh, enter what? Third, under your apps, select the third item. The, the blue one. one. Okay. Ah, yeah, okay. The... This is the app. Oh, I yeah. see. Mm -hmm. So you have a project, and inside the project, you have a web app, for example, iOS app and Android app. Yeah. And, and then you can be like, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. makes sense now. Okay, so we have the app configured. We need to run Firebase command again, initialize it so it's set up in our real application, not the Firebase app. So it's connecting our current repository to a specific mm -hmm. um, Oh no, you did it just in Firebase. hosting for the future. Sorry? Uh, the hosting option, you me it, but that's fine. Okay, so now we'll can um, you please copy Firebase config? Let's just install the... this Firestore application. Okay, uh, I'm gonna select the email. Print project. This is the project. Please select host inside. Okay, this one. Now it's giving me the the app that we just created. Okay, I think it did configure. Good. This. Let's see. Let's the see what the yeah yeah the changes. I'm curious. Okay. A lot of things. Let's see. We have a fire Firebase uh, 
uh, RC it probably added this to git ignore oh it changed it into the JSON let's see it changed it to deploy no it added a new command which is deploy so now we can run probably in g run deploy that's cool um using angular fire builder deploy this is for configuration to the web uh, let's see firebase json created this file I think this is some configuration for Firebase. It has hosting, rewrite rules. I think to do the rewrite rules for the Firestore. Um, what else we have? I don't know what the what let's, this is. Let's try to deploy it so everyone can access it. Good idea. Okay. Uh, you you need to go in your environments folder. Okay. Oh, they added the mm -hmm. the configuration. Yeah, new folder. Yeah. Yeah. And not production, but environment. That yes. Yep. You're gonna paste. To, oh, you try to paste they added it. Oh, nice. When you when you make the link, it makes things easier in configuration and setup. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Good. So. And we are deployed. almost there. Ah, we so we just need... we just need we just need to run ng deploy. Yeah. Um, okay. It's one. Let's run it. <laughs> Let's see things break. Yeah. <laughs> Apex. I don't know why Apex is not working with this. Okay. Uh, NPM. I should probably use the in. I like to use the internal NPM run. CLI. Yeah. I don't think we have a deploy script. Yeah, it, it did add a deploy script. It's this one. Oh yeah, uh, you mean uh, inside angular.json, right? Yeah. But in package.json, there's no script for deploying. So you can run uh, npm run deploy. Ah, okay. Oh, it's deployed? But yeah, the way you did it works. Uh, so it's live. Is it? Um, no. Yes, it works. Let well, me that's see. fairly simple, like setting up and you get the a production build um, really fast. Interesting. Yeah. That's cool. Should we send the link for the chat? So you can Absolutely. Ha yeah. harass yeah. the the Firestore. <laughs> uh, one sec. Let's say access uh, too much, and then you're gonna have a bill to pay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks God it's Celia's account, not mine. Yes. So I think we can uh, commit this uh, since okay. the setup is was su successful. Uh, Just one second. Not not sure. Uh, I, I know uh, this is interesting, but this is setting up a lot of information, and uh, I don't know if that information is sensitive or not. Uh, should we uh, be exposing our API key and mm -hmm. you know app ID and all? 
this kind of kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if that's sensitive or not. Um, I think for the oh, it updated to the the Angular Fire, the app module with the Angular Fire auth and Firestore. What cool. is Git ignoring? Uh, Git ignore is used to ignore these files to not be committed by Git. But what is it ignoring? Okay. It's ignoring this uh, Firebase. Let's see it. There is some other files that are not. Where are you, Firebase? Yeah, I'm not sure yeah. what it's. Yeah, you know, it's right. not available. Maybe something that will be added in the future and you don't want people to have the access to it. Yeah. Um, okay, for sensitive information, we have this. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering if um, in a real application situation, you would have to probably hide those API keys and things like that. Mm-hmm. I think you would. Okay. Let's commit this. Unless you want a giant view. <laughs> yeah, you don't want other people um, accessing your application. I think if you... But again, I'm, I'm not sure if that would be accessible. Maybe you, you need to have an account, Google account, that does have access to this project to be able to use API key and, and the rest of the stuff. Mm-hmm. What were you going to say, Elias? Um... About the fi- the configuration here on environment, um, if someone has the access to it, he can directly, for for example, pull the data from Firestore. If you did, if you didn't mm. configure your permissions. Well, um, but people will access that information anyways. Yeah, maybe you want right. to show or hide something. I think in a real life project, not on this. Okay. Okay, cool. So we install Firebase. What's the next step now? We need to create a database. Okay. So, in Firebase's website, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're gonna finish your stream graph, or not? Just just click on the engine keto icon in your project overview. Uh, should click on, on what? Oh, I'm sorry, actually click on Firebase. Mm-hmm. Of products, yes, Cloud Firestore. Cloud Firestore? Mm-hmm. And... Create a database? Yep. Yeah. You're gonna create it in test mode. For our app, at least. Okay. For the location, you can change it later. Okay. You can click on enable. Okay, so Fire Firebase has these features like Firestore authentication, um, deployment. And it has web applications like web, Android, and iOS. And while you're setting up your configuration, you can pick and choose from 
these two like I want to have Firestore and on my Android and iOS app something like this correct I'm just trying to understand uh, I believe so okay. let's okay. create a collection so we have our database Okay. Yeah. Now we need to create a collection. Okay. So what's the first one? Um, leaderboard. Um, but... Okay, can be leaderboard. Can be just a example collection. Uh, this auto-generated ID, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um. What do we have on leaderboard attributes? We created the... Uh... Now I need to have um, um, the structure for us to create. Yes, I'm finding the document. Okay, good. So, game ID. Name and description. Uh, matrix ID. And this should be an array. Oh, uh, No, I think you're correct. So we create our we created our collection and and what is this? A document? And this is the value of the document. Correct? Mm -hmm. We can create here more documents. Yeah, and then they don't exactly need to meet the same structure. Okay. So this should be... Uh... So each document is an entity. Um, each it's... leaderboard, each, each document in leaderboard represents a leaderboard, right? Yes. Because it's a collection of leaderboards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should name this something, description, what should we add here? Um, Do we have a mock data for, for this, uh, prepared or not? Uh, let me see. All right, this is totally like, come on. Uh, I think we used mocked data. Did we? Wait, where's the link to um, the production website? Uh, why? <laughs> I think he shared it and it was um, It was cut out from the chat. It was, you know, moder moderated. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, um, I can't share I'm, from. I'm going to ask one of the moderators to share this URL. Okay. Wait a minute. I can't paste it on OBS. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, Noani, you were saying something? Can you please go back to Fairbanks? Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm, okay. Description, give me the metrics and the name. Okay, here is an this interesting is thing. Uh, how can we do this ID? Um, is this document ID is the ID? But it's not available in the attributes of the document. How can we access this uh, ID? I believe it just doesn't show, but when you fetch the data, you have it, I suppose. Okay, okay but so the information is there. It's just how you're gonna, we are gonna access it. Okay. So once we get information uh, from Firebase, then we can take a look at how that information is available. And then we, uh, if we need it, we change it, uh, we adapt our code to it. Okay, Why don't so we try to add some random values to those strings and just fetch it, see if it works? Yeah, let's try to, to fetch the, the one document that we have. Uh, Can you fill it with random weird things? Uh, do you want me to add more random things? Okay. Because like the description is empty and the game ID is also empty. Okay. Description. Blah blah blah. ID game. We'll see how we can do this. You're going to add a second um, leaderboard, or you're adding a new collection? Uh, yeah, a second, a second leaderboard. Okay. Uh, just um, advancing a little bit. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is to use the Firebase uh, dependency to. Access fetch data from Firebase, yeah. and mm -hmm. in the future we are gonna. At, at this moment, we are gonna just set, get data from Firebase, and in the future, we are going to create some components that will update the database for us. But those uh, components will not be publicly available they will be protected by an authentication, mm -hmm. which will also be provided by Firebase, I think. OK, so how to import the Firebase? Oh, OK, so. so I'm not an Angular expert, but I suppose you do it in your app at module that yes. Um, they mm -hmm. import oh, this. yes, exactly that. Second line. And for Was like... it this added into our app module? Yeah, it's added. So isn't this available for any module to use? I don't think so, but it's not added. What's this? Provide Firestore? Yeah, so we have this initialized app, get authentication, and get Firestore. Okay, so this part is already set. Uh, next thing would be injecting Angular Firestar in the component, F components constructor. I need to import this. Let Angular Fire. 
Firestorm, I guess. Firestorm module. Uh, you need to add the word compat after fire. Uh, I don't know if we need to do it. Let's start to inject in the component we want to use it. And and then if that... Um, Didn't work? If that doesn't compile, we will get an error and see uh, mm -hmm. what we're missing. Okay, so you want me to comment this? Yep. I would. Okay, let's oh, try if, it. If it's... But I believe you need to to import the... You need to have the Angular Fire available. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not sure if that's not being provided by the app module. Okay, let's try it and see. Uh, where is the... It's injecting Angular Fire Star, the constructor. Okay, I believe it's the seventh that. step. So just... where we where do we get data for leaderboards? Uh, we are going to get I it. I think in this component, right? Yeah, we can yeah. pass it here. Okay. So ideally, that would be a service later, but we can just lock it now in the component, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, Later, we can abstract that into a service. Okay, Angular we'll Firestore from here. Okay. So let's affect it to leaderboard. This dot angular firestore collection path. I think here you have to, to give the name of the collection. Um it's leaderboard. Is it is it a leaderboard? Yeah. I think that's the name that you gave in uh, when setting it up. Yeah, it's leaderboard. Okay. Um, dot get what will the well, what will this do? Retrieve the result of the query once. Uh, state changes, value change, listen to all documents in the collection and it's possible query as unobservable. This is what we want, unobservable, no question asked. <laughs> okay, so this should be isn't, unobservable. Isn't the, I can add isn't it, sorry, sorry? Uh, isn't the value changes only available when you're actually getting Real time, uh, when you have the real time data set up with Firestore, which I don't think it's the case, we're not listening to any changes, right? Yeah, but I think we will. We can have the first value, and when if, if there is any change to the Firestore, you will have the new array updated. I believe. Um. This should be okay. Let's affect it to leaderboards. And let's make Wait, it uh, value changes is not is it? It's not a function, is it? You're gonna have to subscribe to it. It's it's giving me it's giving us an observable. 
as a return value? I sent an example in the chat. You need to type it as observable as leaderboard. And it's probably an array of leaderboards. Observable. Oh, so, so you need to uh, provide which um, properties you want. Oh, sorry. Is that it? And, to observe as well, yes. Okay. I thought this was uh, similar to uh, the form value changes. Okay, so it's given an observable of leaderboard. Okay, let's see what we have here. Does not exist on type leaderboard component. Yeah, I just need to add the dollar sign. And uh, so you need to map the ID field to ID. Yeah. So you add an object inside the value changes uh, mm -hmm. argument. The first argument inside value changes is an object, and then you map it the ID field to uh, ID string ID. Uh, okay, uh, I just need to add the... And I can't find on my new keyboard the, the sign for the async pipe. The... Yeah, the pipe. The pipe, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can copy <laughs> from, from our chat. Okay. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> okay. So this is complaining what? It's not assignable to type leaderboard. Yeah, it can be no. So how to fix this? Should we add an ng container? Uh, so it, it is possibly no because it's the using the async pipe, right? Mm -hmm. What I'm doing? Uh, you, I, I don't think you you need a ng container for that. You could just add the ng if um, the leaderboards async as leaderboards and then use the leaderboards inside the uh, the variable inside the input. And you don't need the let. You don't need the let keyword. Yeah, I would just copy the ng if and put it inside the app sidebar, and you don't need the ng container. Oh, what are they just Okay. Yeah. What I, is I would... happening here? Okay, so um, let me just clean this. What's happening here is a uh, leaderboard. Uh, it's an observable leaderboards with dollar sign it's an observable of leaderboard and we affected the value here and the value coming from value changes it can be no it cannot be no i thought first uh, yeah so ty typescript uh, infers that the type of this leaderboard can be no and yeah if there are no if there are no um no collections, then it could be null. Maybe that's it. But but if you can see here in value changes, the type is only observable leaderboard. Let's see the overload. So that's because the async pipe. Uh, is it still complaining about the error, the null error in the template? No, it's not. That's because okay. you added the ng if. Mm -hmm. 
So okay, yeah, so that's fine. So we we should test it and see if it's working. Okay, so it should be working now. Let's run this. ng serve. Am I already? Yeah, I'm already up. It's complaining. About now it's the time we're gonna find out if the module is. You, we need to uh, provide the module somewhere. I just need to save here. Let's see now. Yeah, the null injector. Come on, error. I want to see you. <laughs> Yeah, the null injector. So we will we need the module on the firestorm module. Okay. This should be should fix the problem. No. Hopefully. It did not fix the problem. Weird on Gitter Fire module. Let's see the documentation. Did you um, restart the NG serve? It should work without restarting, I believe. But let's try. Save error. Okay, let's see now uh, the docs and double check the module import path first. What is the error you get? Uh, the null injector. I'm trying to inject a service that it's not provided in the module. Uh, this one, this, the Angular Firestore. Let's double check the the path on killer fire compact firestore oh do, don't you have to import the angle firestore module we did on the leaderboard module did we isn't fire. that the, just angular fire module let's probably you are right yeah it's angular fire module yeah, it's, um, it should be Angular Firestore module. Yeah. That's the error. And it's coming from which path? Firestore model, Firestore. So. It should be coming from Fire. Let's double check. Fire Compact. Compact Firestore. And now it should work. You're no? missing Firestar Engine. Missing what? Oh, sorry. The stream's a little. So... No, it's fine. it's fine. Yeah. Angular Firestar module. Angular Firestar module. Should work. Yep. Can you go back to um, the website? It's not. Okay, so what does it say? The same error, no injector. Do you need to? Provide it. Uh, 
we need a provide Firestore. Um, do you have that in our app module? Uh, yeah, file module. Yeah, uh, did we? We, we do actually. Um. No. Initialize app. So in uh, in Angular Fire documentation in the yeah it's not the same in thing. github repository it says it just says the it, it doesn't say anything about embody the angular fire module it just it's just just uses the provided firestore and then get firestore inside the imports array um, and then you inject firestore instead and not angular fire angular firestore so we're pro probably injecting the wrong thing uh, I think you're looking at maybe a an older documentation. So how about um, remove the? Uh, can you go back to um, the other um, file? Mm -hmm. So uh, inside the leaderboard component dot ks, we don't need anything. We need to inject. Uh, just remove. Email. Just remove the everything you added to leaderboard component.ts. Uh, sorry, um, this is not uh, Angular Firestore. It should be just Firestore, and that's going to be imported from Angular slash Fire slash Firestore, and it's already provided in the app module. We don't need to. Uh, yeah, that's. So now uh, we can remove have... the we can remove the Angular Firestore import. Yeah, maybe that it has a different API. Okay. Uh, so uh, we are going to import the collection function instead instead of using the uh, Firestore. But the inject still needs to happen. Uh, because we uh, inside the collection function, we're going to use the Firestore. Inside the collection? So we need to import collection? So, um, so uh, the way you're going to... Um, the, the way you're going to use it is um, this of leaderboard dollar sign equals collection, and then you uh, run the collection function with Two parameters: the you, Firestore parameter, do you want to which is it? the AF store. Yep. Uh, okay. Let me change to Angular leaderboard component. Can you see my yeah. uh, cursor? Okay. So this would be collection, and it would use the leaderboard. Oh, oops. Uh, uh, let's just switch this to. Firestore, so it matches the documentation, and we have the collection Firestore, and then we're going to use the leaderboard, uh, and then this is actually our collection. Uh, and then we have this dot leaderboard dollar sign equals to collection beta and then we pass on the collection uh, so we need to import the collection and collection yeah collection data why is it What's this error? Hmm. Um, which which one? Uh, in the collection import. 
Let's yeah, they changed the API from version 6 to version 7. And starting okay. from, there is a table. Oh, that's a collection. Starting from Angular 12. Uh, Angular Fire is using uh, version 7. And on okay, uh, version 7. Sorry? So, um, let's just change this leaderboard collection. Okay, now we have this set up. Uh, it's just we just have a mismatch between types uh, because we get a document data array instead of uh, leaderboard array. And I'm not sure how to actually type that. I don't like it like this. Uh, yeah, that's how it's it's, um, it's shown in the repository. Yeah. yeah. It's more so this should code. this should work. We just have the difference in type. As an alternative, couldn't you change the way you're initializing for a start? What? As an alternative to doing all this, couldn't you change the way you're initializing for a start to look like the older version? Oh, to use an older version? It should look like the previous version. Previous Isn't that an old version? I'm not sure. I think so. They're probably going to a more um, um, functional approach. Um, Easy. Yeah, I think this is the new API. Mm -hmm. So we probably should use it. Um, I'm just not sure about the types. What's wrong with the types? It's not available. <laughs> so it does return a document data. Uh, yeah. This is not okay. uh, We could uh, we could what we could do instead is to just subscribe to this, and then we can see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, let's remove those. Okay. Let's see what happens. I need to fix the type here. Why it's complaining? Uh, just let's just give an empty array, uh, and it's, it's an observable. observable. Okay, uh, of an empty array. It's just my best this for now. Or make it required like this. Now that should be after the dollar sign. Yeah. Okay. So now let's see if we get anything in our console. Yeah, I um, just saw something. Yeah, finally we have the data. <laughs> nice. Um, do we have an ID? Can you zoom in a yeah. little bit, please? Is it good? Is it good now? I don't think it's changing, so that's fine. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank okay. you. 
We still don't have the ID information. Yeah, for some I think reason. it's on this prototype, probably. Um, how can I have, for example, the first element from this console logged variable? What do you mean? You want to? I want to do something like this, like dot id and see the result on runtime. Oh, I I don't think it has that property, or, or uh, else it would appear here. Uh, we can do something. Go to source code. Where is source? Oh, uh. Pairing sheet inside yeah, your. Uh, we can go to leaderboard module, no component.ts, and go here, put a break. So we can add the ID field and then ID. This is the way it should be done. Uh, right now, when um, I made a change, and now it should be. Uh, passing the ID to those um, to the okay collection. Okay, I'm gonna so save. check it out. Yeah, we have the ID. So you just need to pass as option ID field this ID, and it will add the yeah. ID. Yeah, yeah, we're mapping the ID field to the ID property. Okay, cool. So now uh, we, we need, need to, to type find this, if... find how to type it. No. Uh, okay, let's see the docs. So you are seeing on uh, version 7, right? I was saying earlier that they changed the API. Yeah. Uh, from Angular 12. Yeah, from 12 we have Angular Fire 7. Uh, it's 7.4, I think we're using. Yeah, are we on for this one? We are four? using. Let's check. Uh, Angular Fire 7.4, yeah, because we are on. Uh, Angular 14, but cool. this version is started from Angular 12. Okay, cool. Um, version 7 upgrade. Let's see. On Firestore collection document. Let's see documents. It is the, the one you yeah, I wonder um, how the how we can map that document um, type to our own type, if that's possible. They're doing this, but it's important. Uh, this, I think that's an old documentation. Yeah, we we shouldn't <laughs> we shouldn't. Uh, Trust this documentation. Yeah, it's not uh, giving the correct one. We... Yeah, that's not updated 12 months ago. Firestore. This Firestore is imported from the same place. Let me just see what's inside this one. App. So, oh. and what's available in the import? Wonder if we can cast it. Uh, either boards. Let's 
the older the code the more user tested it was no uh, I don't understand I mean someone said that the older the code the more user tested it no uh, okay let's see understand. if this works nah that's it's not just a hack but no um yeah it's fixing it but uh let's just remove the subscribe we don't need the fast solution right now if if it just works, it's good. And later we can um, look at the API. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can you see if it works now? Okay. Um, you passed, okay. I'm just trying to cast it. trying to do um, trying to change here the no it's not on score This is crap, isn't it? Yeah, it's working. I was looking here. I should be looking here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's working. It's working? Yeah. Uh, okay, there's the name and description. So mm -hmm. awesome, we have some data from uh, from Firestorm. We Oops. successfully connected to it. We just need to add more information and information that it uh, enables us to get information uh, from the um, leaderboard itself, not just the leaderboard uh, list, but the if we click on one of those, it should get the individual information, the collection of, uh, of scores. Okay. Should we try to add the styling number now? Right. Uh, to test the library, which one? The, Should we... the styling lab, the yeah, Windows the 95. Uh, yeah, I think we proved the concept of integrating Angular Fire. We still need to find uh, the correct way of doing the typing here. Probably there is a way. Um, yeah, I think that's it. We can we can install the styling theme library. Uh, okay. Do you have the link? Windows ninety five. Uh, uh, yeah, it's in the chat. Okay, let me just bring the the link. Yeah, there it is. Okay. It's cool. <laughs> Nostalgia. Uh, docs start tired of all new design trends fly back in time and use this free Windows 95 user interface kit to create awesome retro website it is based on the latest bootstrap for framework oh. and yeah, it's just it's like a bootstrap modified version 
that looks like Windows 95. Uh, and uh, its usage, I was taking a look at how to use it. it. It's really similar. You need to use classes, and you compose um, components with classes. I need to log in, I guess, to load the uh, files. I think we can. Uh, I think we can just. Um, I, I don't think we need to log in. We can um, look at it on npm. I hope so. Yeah, it's on NPM. Uh, Phone I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you the link. This Just one. a minute. Yeah. So I guess we need yeah, to install good. it and then add it to our styles.css library, and then we can um, we can use it. The the classes, so there are going to be uh, global classes. Okay, so npm install. Yeah, oh. and then import into our styles.css I don't know why they are keep mentioning that you need to download and clean the, this is a demo I guess is it download from here yeah let's see what installing it does to us okay um, we should import what well, let's see what uh, we installed. Let's see the node modules folder for this package. And then we can, I think we can just uh, import the uh, source into our styles CSS file. Uh, so let's take a look at the node modules for this package. Um, at team, I think this one. No, uh, at themesburg slash windows95. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's because this I'm looking no at this, the, this. the stream. It's, uh, it has a delay. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it's this, that this CSS file. The, yeah. Okay, copy I think we just need the CSS. And add it to the Angular JSON styles. Yeah. This should work. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, add into Angular JSON. There are images as well. Oh, it uses jQuery. Did it install jQuery? Let's hope not. Uh, I think that that's probably dependency uh, from Bootstrap, or they needed to add some functionality and use jQuery. Uh, but let's just import the CFS file. Yeah, it cannot I think that's the... enough. Uh... Wait, what, what should, did you do? Should I do this? Okay. Uh, I did not know the, the path. Okay, that's that's because it's trying to... Uh, it, it's referring to some images. Uh, we would have to add those images as well. Really? somehow okay. 
it's referring to these images in the in the CSS file. No, I think. Uh... Let's import the CSS file in instead into our um, styles.css. Maybe it's not going to complain. And then we can, since the URLs are relative, we could um, we could create those folders inside our assets folder. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that Let's see. Inside the styles CSS, we could use a add import. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how to refer to node modules. I think you use the tilde. Yeah. yeah. Tilde. And then. And then what? <laughs> the I add totally forgot. Themes for slash windows. Um, oh, wait. What's the difference between importing them here and on, on, on Uh In here, uh, it's not going to complain, I think. Let's see. So I'm looking to how to import from okay. node modules. Yeah, it should be uh, like I'm doing. Uh, can, can you go to, I don't have access to node modules folder. Uh, oh, you need the link? Can you add the path to the CSS file inside the import? Okay, inside the... Uh... Yeah, and it doesn't have the these. Be like this? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, now, when you save it, it hopefully it's doesn't. It's complaining hurt. about. Yeah, missing a semicolon. So the library doesn't come with the assets or something? It does, um, but um, the uh, CSS thingy is trying to find the files for us. For some reason, yeah, it's can't resolve. Them here. Uh, cool. Does anyone know what to do to fix that? Mm. <laughs> In the assets path, yeah. Uh, so maybe on Angular.json we have to include them like this. Uh, styles. At Kingsburg, and then I guess it's image. I don't know if. I think that should work. Yeah, let's um, see if that works. I think we need to import them before the... Or... Okay. Never mind. I was trying to say you need to import them before the 
I said, but it's already imported before. Okay, was, can you try to? I'm thinking of something. Um. Asset path. Let's let's start. Okay, so Wade has suggested doing yeah, this. Yeah, the global. It like this. <laughs> yeah, let's see it, the documentation. Okay. Assets. Yeah, that should work. Okay. This is just JSON stuff. No modules, not that. Okay. Now let's copy this. Gonna try ng serve again. Okay, so whatever the input is this, the yeah. output should be this. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, I don't think. Uh, let's start let's try to add it like it did before here with the style. Add this. No, for these files, I don't think that's needed. Just, um, just the, just the assets like that, and then for the styles the way you had before, before we added to the styles mm -hmm. CSS file. And hopefully that will behave as expected, as we expect at least. It's generating browser application. That's a good thing to see now. Yeah, cannot resolve because the path is dynamic. Yeah, we can do something, but it's not good. It's a quick fix. We can copy the the folder and put it on the assets here. Yeah. But uh, it's not a good thing to do, I think, because we will be losing. You cannot, if they uh, upgrade it or something. Do you think we should do it? Should do what? Um, copy this and put it on the assets. Yeah, uh, that that's doable. I mean, it's not ideal, yeah. but if it works, I'm happy. Can't resolve. Let's remove this. I wish it didn't try to process images. <laughs> Come on.
probably the, the solution Wade gave you is the perfect one we just need to dig more and see how we can do it like that um, now we need to import this or it's already imp imp no do we yeah it's working it's working yeah you see the font change it Oh, cool. Let's try something. So you just copied everything into... Yeah, yeah. that works. No, it's not ideal because yeah. updating would be uh, mm -hmm. difficult, but for our purposes, we just want to have fun with this little library. Yeah, probably the solution that we suggested is, is the one. Hmm. But it needs more debugging. Um, let's just add this button somewhere uh, here, for example. So a better solution in the same idea you have would be yeah, uh, maybe we just copy the uh, the exact files we want. We we could use the glob better to just include the assets into our uh, folder. Um, it's uh, far from ideal as well, but would be better than copying everything. But yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the current solution. Yeah. What's the size of this? Uh, can I know the size from here? No. Should probably open in Finder. I like it already. Way better button style. Yeah. I'm trying to know the size of this. Size of what? The size of this Windows 95 folder. If it's something mm. small, we can just ignore the fact that it's copied and pasted here in the assets. So I think the documentation to demo um, explains how to increase the font size. I hope. You can add BTN, small, BTN, medium, and large. Mm -hmm. BTN, yeah. That's okay, good. Let's see the headings. This is the H1. Uh, so how do you like the uh, each leaderboard look would look like a dialogue. <laughs> yeah, we need to think of the design. They have some form examples, some sign in in register forms, we could use that as well. Okay, cool. Um, I think that's it. Do 
it has um, some suggestions to things to do. Um, we installed Firebase. We have now a quick solution for installing Windows 95T. And we reviewed Mark PR. Okay, uh, so a good, um, I'm going to send you a example, another link, and we can go over it and have inspiration for our own components. This is the React 95 uh, component set that uses the uh, 95 UI kit, the same we downloaded. Uh, we could take a look at those components and use them as inspiration for our, our own components. Mm -hmm. Inspiration. Inspir yeah. Inspiration, AKA stealing. <laughs> yeah, you can see it that way. good yeah brings up a lot of memories <laughs> so um, next do you want to try to implement um, some UI um, or do you want to keep uh, working on the um, integration integrating with Angular Firebase. Um, I think we can wrap for for this one and continue on Thursday. Okay. Uh, it's eight. What's eight forty five? It's a uh, the one hour something. An hour and 45. Yeah. Twitch does not give you the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for the the next live stream, what's, what are the goals? Uh, we should be able to have a working sidebar with leaderboards and clickable yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'd uh, say we need to integrate the rest of the data with Firebase. So we need to mock more data into Firebase and then um, the, uh, clicking a leaderboard should fetch information from that specific leaderboard. Okay. And so we need to have some data mocked in Firebase. So we could do both of these things, but um, First, set set the mock in Firebase, and then um, integrate. Finish the integration, data integration. Okay, cool. Um, so let's commit this first. Uh, what did we do here? Yeah, just add in the. For some reasons, the integrated kit is not working for me. I need to investigate that later on. I'm going to commit from here. Probably an issue with live share. Thanks again, Mark, for the the linting. It's giving us errors <laughs> that we need to fix. Um, unvalid character. Why? So the problem with that. Wow, it's trying to parse. Yeah. Files inside. I should the probably assets folder. need to tell. Uh, let me just close this, save, 
I should probably need to tell the ASCII pre-commit to ignore the assets. Uh, where can I do that? Get ignored? Wow. No. We should have tested this. <laughs> yeah. You can also create an slint ignore file. A slint? Yeah. A slint ignore. That would work. Because he's running uh, a slint. Yeah. Um, should be like this. Yes, lint. Ignore. Right. It's, yeah. mm. I mistyped something. Yes, lint. Ignore. Ignore. You need an A. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so anything in SRC assets? Should work like this? Uh. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. I think I need to ignore the folder, sure. Maybe that's a Husky configuration issue. I don't know. Uh, it's going to land all the files. Let's try to land all the files. Mm -hmm. so, all uh, changes. I think can I, I think can I check in all the folders and then all the files inside the folders, inside assets. Does that make sense? Um. I would like this. Uh. Like this. Let's see how it ignores to it. Yep. Do this. Okay. I think it's a husky thing. Is there a way to tell husky to not to ignore this? Yeah, good question. Um, let me take a look at that file. We also could skip the pre-commit hook. I think with the git commit, commit no verify option. Um, we can? I think so, yeah. Just dash dash no verify. No dash verify. Yeah. No verify. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> okay. That's a 
You should have do this yeah. a real, real <laughs> project, but <laughs> yeah, this should not be known by, by other developers. <laughs> Okay. You Let's should be aware it exists, though, because if someone does it, you know how they did it. Yeah. Okay. I think that's about it. We can. You have wrap. to wait once for every project, though. If you have tests and you're going to DD. I have to what? If you have a script to run your tests, you have to do it once for every project. Run the over five like. Like uh, running the Husky scripts. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you guys have something to add? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, we should probably research on how to fix this issue for for next stream. And uh, so we skip the assets file. We don't want to lend those files. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And also fix the typing issue with Firebase. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So see you guys next Tuesday. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you.